Now I have a bit of a crazy theory um, about Genesis. Uh, the book, not the band. Um, <laughs> I don't think anyone can explain that one. Peter Gabriel, no idea. Um, uh, uh, I think it's uh, maybe the the badly translated ancient diary or ancient blog of a of a of a uh, 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 ancient computer programmer who's um, detailing every day their how they you know what they built in this uh, world creation game they're calling the universe. Um, I know, and every day, if you read Genesis, it's like a, they create the sun, the sea, the earth, the heavens, the land, the sea, the fishes, the whatever, and, and they sit back at the end and they see that it was good. Um, <laughs> uh, you'll notice there's no mention of bug checking, um, which is evident. Uh, and then uh, after six days, you know, they brought the whole project in, and that's pretty good going, even if it is a little faulty and buggy at times. Uh, and then on the seventh day, uh, they rested. Um, fundamentalists take note. Um, uh, Apparently, God never worked another day in his life. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's even lines of code, I think. And, you know, like, let there be light. I think that's C+. Uh, uh, and, um... Well, yeah, three people can go. Uh, the rest of the Genesis and the rest of the Bible, that's yours to misinterpret as you see fit. Um, Adam and Eve, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's nothing to do with that. It's, you know, oh, uh, maybe it's the first avatars in the game, but I think it's more like it, it's just an allegory for uh, how humanity moved from a hunter-gatherer society to an agrarian one, in which they take the, the forbidden fruit from the tree of knowledge, which is really the forbidden seed, not the fruit. They plant the seed in the ground and they, oh, they discover they can... They can control their life and their environment themselves. And as a result, they also discover their own mortality, their own you know, ability to die. Um, uh, but as I say, the rest of the book, no. Exodus, that's you know, not about migrating this uh, computer code from an Egyptian server center to an Israeli one because of flooding. Um, <laughs> numbers, that's not the traffic stats to the blog. And Leviticus, admittedly, is something of a slightly fascistic, very obsessive, uh, enormous and difficult list of do's and don'ts uh, and punishments attached, which uh, is written clearly by somebody with a god complex, but very little practical life experience, <laughs> much like com many computer programmers I've met uh, and worked with. Um, and I bring all of this up just to say that it strikes me that when they say God made man in his own image, uh, that would mean that God is something of a vain, vengeful, bullying, <laughs> capricious, hypocritical, fragile idiot. Uh, <laughs> but I guess that's what some people look for in a leader. <laughs> Unless you're Canadian, in which case a nice smile will do, that's fine. <laughs> so, um, 